Hello and welcome to another Dynamic CCTV technical video. Today we're going to take a look at Ikevision's new IP horn speaker, the DSPA0103. This is a newly released product being designed to work with Ikevision's own licensed VMS platform, Hick Central, and also the i-series range of NVRs as well. As I said, it is an IP device. It's got a single RG45 connector there for both power and sound information. It's a 13 watt device, so we work happily off standard PoE or PoE Plus as well. It's an IPX7 unit, so the X for solid objects basically means no specified protection given, and the 7, which would, is the second digit, is basically protecting up to obviously submersion level, so hopefully we're above more than what's needed for external use in the UK. It's a 118 dB device, but in terms of measuring the sound dB levels for a given area, it's advised to do a, a, a sound level check on site at the furthest point that you want the speaker to be audible. And if you let Dynamic CCTV know, we can advise whether or not this particular device is suitable for your requirements. But always best to do the calculations so that you're certain. Remember that obviously the audible sound from the speaker needs to be between 5 and 10 dBs higher than what, what your measured background noise is. So we can obviously advise that for you. The unit's got a 32 gigabit micro SD card, which is behind this unscrewable cap here on the rear. Obviously it is of solid construction and it can operate between zero degrees and 55 degrees and it weighs about one and a half kilos so not too heavy but heavy enough to obviously withstand a, a bit of a whack as such. So as I said it will work with the i-series NVRs, we're going to look at that today, do a separate video on the Hick Central integration. The i-series and NVR integration is basically through event triggering which allows this particular horn or a group of horns to play a pre-recorded message upon an event such as motion detection and alarm input or smart events uh, intrusion and line crossing as well it can be configured with any of those events to upon triggering play a pre-recorded message and you can obviously specify different messages for, uh, from different camera inputs on the i-series nvr which we'll take a look at right now and so off we go so i'm at my i-series nvr now and i just quickly want to point out the firmware version that we're using today which is 4.21.008 with a build of 200307 this is a bespoke firmware at the moment and it's you do need this firmware in order to use the Ikevision horn speaker with the iSeries MVR. Uh, we're hoping it'll come in baseline, I'm sure it will, but at the moment it's a bespoke version of the firmware. But you can ask Dynamic CCTV for this firmware. We can see the center firmware over to you or we can pre-install it on the unit prior to it being sent out to you. So we'll come back to the MVR in a little while. We're just going to look at a couple of uh, configuration programs that we need to use in setting these devices up. We've got ISP speaker tool and an NA manager. Both of these programs serve a purpose and are needed throughout the setup procedure which we'll look at now. Again, they can both be supplied by Dynamic CCTV as and when you, you, you purchase horn speakers or they can be direct downloaded from our website. So we'll start with NA Manager. This is kind of like an SADP for horn speakers. It detects the units, it allows you to set up the network parameters, etc. So we've got my horn speaker there. Obviously we've got a refresh button there where it will look on the network. It's only found the one because that's the only one we've got plugged in. If I double click on the unit, we can see the unit settings there, but we can also edit them by clicking on the base parameters tab. So we've got our IP settings there. I've already set my unit up on a 200.174 address, but that can be edited to whichever address you wish yours to be on. And we can also set the server settings up at the bottom, the server being the iSeries MVR that you want the horn speaker to talk to. So I can put um, my login settings here and my IP address of my iSeries MVR. The port is 8877 out of the box, so we'll leave that as it is. As long as you marry it up at the other side, then that'll work. So we'll save those settings there and put the password of the horn speaker in. And that, you heard their little tune from the unit which is basically the speaker taking the settings. So that's the IP speaker finder software. Now the second program that we want to look at is uh, the IP speaker tool. This allows us to configure audio files and send them across to the NVR. So I'm going to add my NVR to the program. So, once it's added, we can add multiple units. If we select the one we want to configure, we've got an audio uploading tab there. And we can either add an audio file or record an audio file ready to be then be sent to the MBR. So I'm going to record an audio file right now. So click on the record tab. Warning, this is a restricted area. 
please leave now. So that's, I've quickly recorded a quick sort of segment of audio there. I'm sure you were very impressed with that. But we can now save that. That'll be sent across to the MVR ready for us to use with our triggered events direct to the to the horn speaker. So I'm going to click OK for that. If, we, if you use this little musical note tab here, you can view the existing audio file. So there's the one that I've just uploaded there. But if you add multiple audio files, you can view them from this little tab here. So the next thing we need to do is go back to our iSeries MVR and under the network tab we've got a IP speaker so we can add our speakers. We've got up to four that we can add to the iSeries MVR. So I'm going to add my unit, call it test. As you can see there the port is matched as at double eight double seven. One seven four, which is my unit 8877 the speaker volume now that wants to be set a minimum of 80 for it to be an acceptable level of audio so we're gonna i'll go a little bit higher than that today i'll go to 90 uh, but make sure obviously when you're installing these that you do do a, a prop background noise test first and then make sure that you're between 5 and 10 decibels higher for your audio to be usable on site so i'm going to save that there obviously we need to enable that as well so that's our ip speak obviously re repeat the procedure for additional speakers so now we need to set up a smart event and also uh, assign an, an audio file to that event. So if we go down to event and smart event, I'm going to choose camera two. And I think we'll do a line crossing today. So here's camera two, which we're going to use today. So I'm going to position my line somewhere where it'll easily be triggered for my demonstration. So right in the middle of the screen, enable that. We can see there that we've got play file now. If I click on the drop down list, there's my uploaded recording. So I can select that and save it. But I can also go into the linkage method and I can choose my IP speaker here. So just by putting a tick in there, I can now save that as well. So we've got a line crossing. We've got a pre-recorded message and we've got the speaker we want to play it to upon triggering. So what I'm going to do now is quickly get out my seat and trigger the line crossing and you should hopefully hear this on speaker, play my message as pre-recorded earlier on. And there, I'm sure you could hear that nice nice and loud and clear, the actual horn speaker becoming audible with the message that I recorded earlier. So a good level of integration here between the horn speaker and the iSeries MVR for alarm triggering notifications on site. There is also integration with Hicks Central VMS, which we're going to cover in a separate video with this particular horn speaker. But the iSeries MVR alarm triggering pre-recorded message notifications is available now through the bespoke firmware. Now I'm just going to trigger it one last time before we end the video. So there we have it, that's the IP, High Vision IP horn speaker working with the iSeries MVR for alarm, event triggered, pre-recorded message notifications. Thanks for watching this video, if you require any additional information, please get in touch with Dynamic CCTV's technical support department on either of the software programs, the firmware or the actual horn speakers themselves. It's all available from Dynamic CCTV, so please get in touch. Thanks for watching this video and uh, we'll see you next time.